welcome to The Young Turks. I'm about to do an awesome interview. Uh, we are going to interview Rachel Rabbit White. She's a sex journalist whose work has been featured on Huffington Post, Venus Zine, Gala Darling. She also does work for um, The Frisky, uh, Jezebel, and Alternet, which is one of my favorite online publications. So, Rachel, I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Uh, you are going to talk about Lady Porn Day, which is a campaign you've launched. So tell me a little bit about Lady Porn Day. Yeah, so Lady Porn Day is today, and it's essentially a day to celebrate porn and masturbation. So I'm inviting ladies of all genders, or however you identify, to talk about your porn experiences, uh, share stories, and ultimately share your recommendations. The idea being that it's tough out there to explore porn as a girl, but porn can just be a tool for sexual discovery and health. Now, I, I love that you came up with this campaign, but I have to ask you, what encouraged you to come up with this campaign? What was your big motivator here? Okay, so I guess a few years ago I realized that I wanted to be more comfortable with porn than I actually was. Like, I always considered myself sex positive and sort of a feminist, but in reality I felt kind of like dirty after I watched porn, and sometimes I would even feel like jealous, like after a boyfriend or whoever would watch porn. And so I realized, like, that's kind of not where I am. That's kind of not okay. So I started exploring these feelings, and I explored, you know, what I thought about porn growing up. I explored what made me so icky. And in doing this, I allowed myself to also find porn I actually liked. So now I occasionally use porn as sort of like another sex toy. I kind of see it as just like another vibrator or something to help you get off, and it's great. So this is what I decided to invite everyone to do with Lady Porn Day, to explore their feelings around porn and to open up a dialogue about what they like. You know, there's so many people that are watching this on YouTube right now, uh, males, that are just like, oh, so she's into porn. What kind of porn is she into? So, I mean, I think that as a woman, it's extremely brave to be so outspoken about masturbation or pornography. It's not something um, that women typically talk about out in the open. So. First of all, tell me what kind of um, reaction you've received from this campaign. Um, are there any negative reactions? Are they mostly positive? Have you know guys emailed you terrible things? What's going on? What is the reaction to this? You know, I thought I was like, man, this might be the one time that I will accept dick pics, but I was like, <laughs> I will not put that out there because we did start to get a few guys. But honestly, on the hashtag Lady Porn Day, it was like all women and just so much positive stuff. There was some negative stuff throughout the day just because there were thousands of girls tweeting and, you know, so many people. But really, I think it was a lot of girls saying, whoa, you know, I do like porn, and I'm, I'm not really allowed to talk about this. And so I wanted to, you know, they felt really empowered, it seemed. But then there were also girls who didn't like porn, and I didn't want their voice to be erased, and they were sort of talking on the hashtag, too, about why they didn't like it or what their past had been. And what we really came to the consensus of was there's really not a lot of porn out there for straight girls, and, you know, what's going on with that? No, it's really interesting that you mention that because there's a huge difference between porn that's targeted toward males and porn that's targeted toward females. In the United States, you don't see a lot of pornography that's targeted toward females. But if you go right. to European countries, for instance, um, there's a Dutch channel known as Dusk, and yeah, it is yeah. a 24-7 uh, channel that is dedicated to female porn. And, you know, explain a little bit the difference between pornography for women versus pornography for men. What are the differences? Okay, so we talked about this a lot, a lot today, and I think that pornography for women, it's problematic in that women are going to be just as varied as, and if you can see my air quotes, pornography for men already is, which is basically pornography for everyone. You know, because everyone's going to like something different. But that being said, I like art by women. I like music by women. I like seeing the world through eyes that are like mine. So, of course, I'm going to crave that in porn, too. So I think it's just, I think there is validity to the question, what is the female gaze? What is the female point of view in porn? Mm -hmm. And I don't think we really know that yet. But I think um, a culture where women are creating porn and um, making artful porn is just the one where we're going to have that come to life. So what specifically do you look for when searching for porn? Is there a particular fetish that you have? Is there a, a particular type of pornography that, you know, you, um, I don't know, pay most attention to? So this became quite controversial at first because the images that were used in my flyers I thought were just beautiful and they were very glossy, almost like what you see in the pages of Vogue, of mostly women and some guys. And that's what I like. I like um, sort of 
fashion-y, model kind of glossy, mostly women. But what I learned is that a lot of women do not like this at all. Mm-hmm. And they were offended that I would, I would use mostly women and that I would use um, these model looking women. So what I learned was that it, so many women had so many different tastes, and yet, you know, we were all able to kind of agree on what was good and what was not good. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, yeah, I don't know. I do like the lady stuff, but a lot of girls are looking for guys. So, okay, so you're saying uh, mostly women porn, you, lesbian scenes, that's what you're into. That's up my alley, so to speak. Interesting, interesting. Uh, JR has a question for you. Um, okay. I, yeah, how you doing? There was Actually, it's very ironic. I was talking to a friend earlier today, and it's very odd. She was saying that there's a group of men, and Anna at first we talked about it, there's a group of men who see women who watch porn or who may masturbate as no longer wifey material because it, in their mind it make them make the women seem like more like they would cheat. Is that some of the response you're getting from some of the guys? Because like it's almost an insecurity thing. Like, oh, women who watch porn, they're like horny all the time. They're gonna cheat. Mm-hmm. You know, not at all. The guys have been actually on the hashtag going. I wonder if my wife's going to celebrate Lady Porn Day tonight. The guys seem to be really excited that girls are talking about porn, probably because guys, you know get, you know, kind of like the rough end of the stick with porn. I think that that sort of like 70s feminist echo of porn is wrong, porn degrades women kind of remains. Mm -hmm. And so guys kind of like get the brunt of that. So would you make the case that uh, because of religious values in the United States, uh, people, especially people in marriages, would look down on porn, whereas it could really be used as, you know, a marital tool? You could have oh a, lot of, yes. a lot of fun in the bedroom with a little bit of pornography. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially if you if you subscribe to like the sex at dawn, humans are not naturally monogamous thing, which has been so hot these past few months. I think that porn could be a great way to explore, you know, that supposed natural non monogamy um while still being true to each other and just while, you know, having a little fun and spicing things up. So porn is something that we talk about um, a great deal on The Young Turks, okay, especially in my hour, because there are so many different perspectives when it comes to pornography. Of course, there are people uh, that are very liberal about porn. They think that it's great. They think, you know, stop judging people who get involved with porn. Stop judging people who use porn. Stop judging people who talk about masturbation, right? But there are also people who don't have an an agenda against pornography, but they're calling for more regulation um, in the porn business, okay? So they're saying Mm -hmm. that uh, women are getting mistreated. They say that, you know, people aren't getting tested enough for STDs and, you know, very serious diseases like HIV. What do you think about that? Like, what what are your thoughts on the downsides of porn, if you think there are any at all? I think it's probably best to know um, where you're getting your porn from and how they treat their performers. You know, does the site that you go to, do they test? Um, you know, is, every, is it consensual? Is everyone of age? It's best to know these things. However, I think you can't always know if the performer is going to later feel like they were coerced or feel like they were in a bad situation. So what I do is, if it makes me feel icky while I'm watching it, if I don't feel okay and I get that gut feeling, then I turn it off and I don't consume that porn. And then I can quickly find something else that does make me feel okay, that does seem like that they're enthusiastic and having a good time. All right, final question for you. How do your parents feel about you being so outspoken about masturbation? Oh, my goodness. Well, my mom was sending me emails all day today, like, I'm sending positive energy. It's your big day today. So it was a little awkward talking with my dad about what this project was. Right, uh, of course. But I think, I think they're really excited. And my mom has been asking, like, now she's like, well, I would like erotica. So, you know, is there anything like that that you could recommend? So, oh, wow. you know, all those moms out there, we have been talking about erotica. They're all going to be on the Jillian Off Hall of Fame on my website. So, All right. Very, very interesting campaign. Uh, you guys can check it out on rachelwright.com. Rabbitwright.com. Yeah, rabbitwright.com. I'm sorry about that. Check it out. Yeah. Um, you guys can learn more about Lady Porn Day. You can read about what people are saying about it. And you can participate. So make sure you guys check that out, and we'll see you later on The Young Turks. Thank you.